Welcome to Excel Magic number 1,308. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic 1,307 to 1,311 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we're looking at the same table we had last video where we did conditional formatting. But guess what? All I want to do is create this text string here from this table. Notice. It has rows and columns, so it's like a rectangular range. And here's what we need to do. If I put this in edit mode, oh, I need to join the first two items in the table with an and between it. And then when I go down to the next row, I need an or. And then I need an and, or, an and. So that's a long formula to concatenate. So instead of doing that if, you have Excel 2016 with Office 365. Then you can use the text join function. And watch how easy this is. Equals text join. Now, normally, we have a delimiter. That's just a single item. And if I highlight a bunch of things, it'll put that delimiter between all of them. But I have two delimiters, one for joining the two items in two different columns, and then another one when we go down a row. So in the delimiter, I'm just going to use an array constant. You have to use open curly bracket and then double quotes. And I'm going to need a space, too. So space and D space. So the first item I need is and comma. And the second item I need is space or space and double quote and then close curly bracket. So in the delimiter, this is called an array constant. Now we do comma. I want to ignore empty cells, so I put true or leave it omitted, comma. And now the text, I simply highlight my two-way table. You've got to be kidding me. Close parentheses and Enter. And there you go. We get the same exact thing. So a lot shorter, a lot easier to type out and create when you use an array constant. In the delimiter argument, of course, if you have the text join function, otherwise you have to do that. All right, we'll see you next video.